Hey, Orange One here, and I wanted to show you, um, it's pretty interesting, it's kind of weird. Basically down in this subway here, um, I think, yeah, I've shown you that we've got the subway and the, um, the underground, I think in the last episode, right? So anyways, down here, if we look down here, there's, okay, there's actually a zombie dog right there, we'll just let him just kind of jump at us for a second. Also take out the zombie real quick. Um, I think there might be like a skeletal juggernaut somewhere around here. But anyways, I kept on hearing things over to the side around here. And so I used the jackhammer to kind of get in here and also a little bit of dynamite. It took a long time, but I got through it. You know, this is dedication right here. Um, there is something that's around here. So let's just kind of see um, a boomer. Okay. We're just gonna take some shots because I'm pretty sure there's others around here. I'm just I'm curious to see what we got. Oh, there's a zombie tank right there. Okay. Okay, that actually hits them pretty pretty good. Okay, well this I think is okay. I think we might want to go back and get more light, but um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much we're gonna need to do that. I think we'll take a few more headshots, then we'll go auto. Yeah, okay, we'll go auto, like, we'll get a little bit better aim. So, and then... Make sure we hit him, and I'm pretty sure this should do it. There we go. Take that, zombie tank. Okay, so the zombie tank's down. Kind of am curious. Oh, whoa, look at this. Okay, there's like a dead Mego here. How much ammo do I have? 29. Can I switch to semi-auto? Yeah. Just don't think we need to be going auto. Oh. Wait, what? Is that a car? What? Did it fall through the from above? Like what's going on? Lot of smashing going on up there. Is is like the ground collapsing from above? I just am curious what's going on above because I feel like that's weird that there's like a car right there. It's also kind of like, where's that tunnel going? Because that is completely separate from the tunnel down here, by the by. Because remember, we've got this tunnel down here as well that we were exploring last time. Wait, there's... How are there zombies down here? I think there's been some kind of weirdness going on with zombies spawning, like, between this level and the levels above it. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll go up, and we'll just kind of check out things up and to the right. Because there should be um, something going on over there from what I've seen so far. Let's go ahead and just reload. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Um, also, I should probably have that going. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more battery power while we're here. Um, we'll go with that. That should be enough. There we go. We should be filled up all the way now. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious as to what's going on, like, kind of up here-ish. Yeah, what's, what's that? Right there. That is a lot of stuff. Like, a whole lot of stuff there. I'm pretty sure that... There's something weird going on here and there. I'm hearing smash below us a lot. Yeah, this is kind of craziness right here. I'm pretty sure things are like falling between this Z level and that Z level. I'm like almost positive that's what's going on there. Let's just pull a couple of these guys back and we'll... I mean, I've got so much bullets right now, it's like kind of insane. Like, honestly. 
Like, I know that that's going to attract, like, quite a few of those guys. But as long as we keep them at, like, a manageable amount, it's totally fine. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I, I want to be careful because I had been, um... I'm just backing up because, like, honestly, the game crashed a couple times. And I wasn't really sure why. And I think it's because things might be, like, falling between Z-levels or something. There's a fungal zo Oh, God. The fungus is here now. If only things could get worse. we got the fungus here. And honestly, the fungus makes it so the zombies are at a little bit easier. They're kind of annoying to deal with, Com uh, to be completely honest. Okay, what do we have here? A corrosive zombie? Where's, where's the corrosive at? Oh, okay, they're, they're just like way up, up there. Okay, well, I've got tons of bullets for them. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, something's moving. Wrestler, necromancer. Go for the necromancer first. Always take out that necromancer, make sure they don't spawn um, the enemies. But yeah, uh, wrestler. I should. We'll go for wrestler for now because they can be pretty nasty. Uh, how's that devourer doing? Yeah, they're one of the ones that has like they've absorbed a ton of things, so they're gonna have a lot of HP. Maybe hard to actually kill it. But we're doing a ton of damage to be honest, so like, yeah. It will it will die. There we go. Nice. Okay, well. Maybe I should fall back. I mean we've used up like half of our 50 clip um mag. Okay, we got a wrestler coming at us. I'm, I'm gonna just fall back just a little bit. I mean I could go melee, but our focus isn't even that high, so I kinda don't wanna bother. You know? Okay. Take out that wrestler though. Nice. Okay. We also kind of want to make sure that our area, this whole area is secure. And so it's kind of good to be taking those guys out. Oh, also, um, Harvey's been resting. This is in like his little hotel room right here. Hey, Harvey. He's doing pretty good. Eh. Yeah, everything besides that head is is doing pretty good. I was going to feed you. Um, let's go ahead and trade. Can I give you more sausages? I think I have. Yeah, I have sausages. Let's give you six more. Nope, I can't give you six more. Okay, I'll give you five more. got water so if he has that food he should be able to take care of that let's just kind of clear out these zombies and then I'll, I'll we'll explore down below a little bit more uh, let's get let's get the Jane out I'm gonna do a little melee and we'll start doing more of that I think Oh, oh yeah, I've got some dynamite in the backpack just in case we want to blow a hole in the wall. <laughs> you know? Like like you need in the apocalypse. I mean, I feel like we're finally kind of like role-playing as Nosh properly, carrying around like a stick of dynamite, you know? Like honestly, I, I'm not even going to take off the backpack for this. These guys are so goofy. Yeah. I've also been carrying around the t a towel. Uh, to deal with that boomer effect because it's just it's so prevalent like you get that effect like all the time it's pretty annoying but like if you do that then you're fine oh look the solar car is still kind of intact I mean it's kind of banged up it's okay uh, I'm gonna get the gun out for the fungus and take him out that way and I think this is a fungal zombie. Yeah, we want to make sure that doesn't get back up. Then, can I also do the same to that one? Yep, cool. Alright, cool. Um, definitely want to 
keep that under control. Oh, look, I've, I've got this, like, set up to look for food. So we can see, like, what actually has, like, some calories around us. Is that, like, right here? Is that what it said? No, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, sure, have some candies. I think we've earned it. And we could actually have, like, some of the smoked sausage that we're carrying around for a friend. It's gonna go off eventually. Not not too long from now, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of things sma getting smashed for some reason. I think that there might be, like... I mean, that's a whole lot of smashing, so I think it's something caving in on itself, but I don't really know. Oh, actually, hold on. We need to get our flashlight fully charged, so just give me a second. Nope, do not step on the ledge. You know, it's annoying because you can't set the boards over it because it's a ledge, it's not a pit. So I'm not really sure how I can really cross uh, some of those more precarious points. Um, let's see, we've got, I think, some storage just, like, not there. Okay, there's a little bit there. I, I grabbed that book, honestly, for one reason. Okay, there we go. And that reason is um, it can allow us to make more dynamite. Like, we need more paper. I've been, like, using car batteries and, like, uh... Actually, I, I did make some from tainted tallow because I saw that was there, but I've actually got animal fat already. And I think I already have, I just saw that I have um, a battery that I, I grabbed. So we'll just let this one run run down and then we'll use the other one. Let's see what we got around here, corpse-wise. Yep, yeah, that's pulped. North, I'm hearing so Yeah, I think it's... I am going to put in our earplugs, do a little quick save, just make sure that we're good. And move us up and kind of around that. Um, I might have crashed the game. Oh, nope. It's just, I think, processing or something. Yeah, there's something going on weird right here where the game just is like... Man, even on my computer, which is like a very impressive processor, it's like really not liking this. Wow, okay. Well, we're going to stay away from there. That's the evil zone that we don't, we don't speak about. That is like the, the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Honestly. Okay, there's just some clothes, including some rollerblades, so if I wanted to rollerblade through here, I could. Good to know. Yeah, so this is also one thing I thought we might find is, like, something like this, where I'm like, what's behind that wall? Because um, I think it, it's probably just, like, a basement, but maybe it's, like, a lab. So we might like hang out by that wall and listen and see what we hear and use that as a way to decide what to do. But I just kind of want to check out these walls, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and um, we're going to reload this guy right here. So much better. Okay, now we can actually just walk through the hallway. Nice. Okay, well, this is going on a long way. Okay. Holy cow. Where am I? I'm, like, way out of the city. Okay, this is gonna have to run into something interesting, right? East and above you, rock is being blasted. What's east and above me? Oh, yeah. Robot... Clicking below in tunnels. Um, it's it's saying it's on the surface level, but that does kind of match up with what we saw. Oh, what? Hold on. I just, I, I just got shot. What's shooting me? Hold up. Oh, there's a Migo. 
Okay, I've got my gun. Can I hit them? Yeah, I can. Okay, I think... Oh, they hit me in the torso for quite a bit of damage. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Let's see. Can I get a shot on them? I can. Take a shot. Okay, yeah, take that, Migo. Scout. See what else. I've never ran into these Migos. I've heard about them. And I am honestly pretty concerned, but... I think we're doing okay. I'm pretty happy with the damage that we're putting out. They're fleeing now. Yeah, no you're not. <laughs> okay, I am going to maybe take a little break and take some steps back. Because if they have friends, I don't really want to run into them. Can I also apply a bandage to my torso? Jesus, our torso got messed up there. I'm going to just... uh. Kind of like walk us back a little little ways. Yeah, and then I think we kind of go over this way. If I go manual versus if I do the auto, it's actually quicker to do the auto. Uh-oh. We're getting near the smash zone. Am I going to be able to get by? Are we still deaf? Or is it quieter? I think it might be because we were like further away from it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to kind of go south. Just kind of explore what's down to the south. We do have that one wall we can blow open with the dynamite. I'm just curious to see what else we find down here. Wow, this goes pretty far down too. And the interesting thing is that this is going to go by, like, a lot of places that I haven't actually explored before. It's turn off sensory dueling. We don't need that on. I heard, oh, I saw something on Reddit that I didn't realize, but apparently sensory dueling, you got to be careful with that and adre uh, taking adrenaline, like the adrenaline pump, because you can overdose from the effects of stimulants and depressants at the same time. Just really interesting that they got that in the game. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this we got a giant acidic ant. Great. Okay, so now we're near a ant hive. Phenomenal. Where's that? That's to the right. Can I kinda like duck between you guys? No, it actually is a dead end. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good indicator that the ant hive is like just right there then. That is pretty interesting. We'll walk just like that up here. Um, yeah, we'll kind of just then move to the side to get past the, the slow point. And I think, honestly, we've hardly used up any of our bullets. I think we'll kind of check out the rest. And we got tons of battery still. We'll kind of check out the other area and see if we run into more Miko scouts. I might want to um, get some other weapons as well. I'm not really sure. Let's turn that off. And let's just keep that pain down. And we'll have to apply it again in a little bit. It's it's like it'd be nice if there was like an auto manage of it, you know. Okay, so here we go. We're back into the hostile territory. Let's see. Can I um, turn on infrared vision? I think that should help me see anyone, if there's anyone here. Okay, this looks interesting. What is this? A zombie burner. Okay, well, we'll kill that. Look at that thing and a flamethrower oh man and more batteries that's pretty sweet honestly we'll take that mag take the batteries um there's only seven bullets there I'll take the filter actually from the gas mask 
I'm telling you what, we'll actually snack on that chocolate bar. Have a little bit of that water. There's a lot of stuff around here. Is that a mini nuke? I think that's a mini nuke that's up there. Just kind of want to go through the list and see what else we we have here. Okay, there's a Mossberg. It's a shotgun, right? Yeah, okay. There's a few things of food as well. There's actually quite a bit of food in here. Yep, yeah, mini nuke. It's in good condition though, so I don't think we're going to get any radiation sickness. Okay, well, lots of military gear. I kind of want to get the flamethrower, but I also don't know if I want to use that right now. You know, I think it was just that one Migo. That was really bizarre. And now we're, what's, what? Huh? Okay. Um, I don't think we're getting around that. That's like complete and total blockage essentially right there because there's no way we're getting by without getting burnt. Okay, well, that's a dead end. Wow. All right. Well, um, can I just like get the command to go like here? And then I'll, I'll take over for that little stretch. Actually, hold on. Uh, stop here. There's this wall. I'm, I'm curious. So what we're going to do is... Let's put the earplugs in. Let's take that dynamite. Let's uh, wield it first. Now let's activate it. And then T for throw. And we'll throw it... Eh. Like there. Okay, cool. And I'm going to just run away. Just get some distance between us and it. There we go. What? Oh, nice. That just actually breached a nice little small hole there. Interesting. Uh, Well, we have another way up if we want it. Let's get the the gun out and we'll see if we can approach the shocker brute and shoot them from across the way. Uh, shocker brute, where are you? Okay, well this guy we can definitely shoot and then the other guy I think will come towards us. So we'll have made quite a, a noise doing this. Come here, where are you? Well, this other one's coming. There we go. They're down. There's the shocker. That's weird. They're gonna probably shock me as soon as I get to this door, huh? No. Nope. Are you hiding? You wouldn't expect them to hide from me. Yeah, this is bizarro. There's an ankle biter, apparently. Take that guy out. Yeah, this is... Uh, oh, there you are. Wow, that was very, very easy. Okay. West and above, I hear smash. Tell you what, I am going to just grab this corpse and move it because I bet those... There's guys that are going to come down pretty soon. But if I go, like, kind of, like, over here, I think they'll leave me alone. And then I'll be able to dissect them in peace. Uh, I might have made a terrible mistake because there's that smashing that's going on nearby. Well, we've had a, a very bizarre physics bug and some weird tunnel spawning bizarreness <laughs> cataclysm you always always are uh like interesting with your rng bizarreness okay um again i'm just a little quick save because i'm getting nervous about this crash site thing and we'll just kind of walk past it, and we should be able to then... Yeah, this is just the, the, the weirdest thing ever. 
the forever falling car limbo. I don't know what started it, to be honest. Like, how does it even start? Wait, what's, what is that? It's like, that looks different when I look down there. Like when I look here and there, that looks very different, you know, than when I look here. I'm, I'm intrigued, but I don't think I can actually peek uh, down and over, unfortunately. Is it maybe that's like on t uh, like a tile or like something that's got a red color on it? I don't know. Okay, well, you know, I think that as tiresome as it was to like punch into that secret tunnel passage that doesn't really seem to hook up to anything. Um, you know, it was it was definitely interesting. And did I ever explore the subway fully either? I don't think I did. I think that I needed to kind of explore the up and over here more, didn't I? I oh, that's when I started to hear like stuff from like the possessed like cave and I turned around because I'm like, I'm scared. It, it probably just hooks up to that subway station and then, then is done is what I would imagine. But maybe it continues onward. Maybe there's like more stuff that it connects to like here. I don't know. You know. Um, let's see. I mean, I think at this point I might try and explore more of the map and try and uh, like, I don't know. Try and find like another lab or something to explore. Or there was the um, the research lab here and there was that hub that we had nearby as well. Where was Hub? I'll have to find Hub again. Because that was something that I remember someone was saying it would be kind of cool to show off. Royalston, man. I remember that. Yeah, I and mean, if we go back to the research lab, I don't think there's too much up that way. Oh, we were going to go to the stadium, the football field, right? And I, I did say I was going to show you that. Uh, let's see. Am I out of just loose ammo for the, um, the gun? I, I think I might be out of just loose ammo. That's kind of interesting. I've got tons of it in belts. Um, I think... I'm going to get our friend, and he'll come with us. We'll just kind of pull up to the house a little bit. And then Harvey and I can go to the stadium. We can get some popcorn or whatever. I mean, he's already been having, like, hot dogs, essentially, right? With his sausages. Okay, yep. Yeah, and also, yeah, one of our um, cameras has gotten smashed, and I have not gone around to replacing it. Mostly because I don't really care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really mind it too much. Okay, there we go. This is a little bit of a crowded road, though. I'm not going to lie. It is, it is definitely a little bit crowded here. Okay, so here's the field. Oh, look, there's just, like, this is, like, not, like, a stadium. This is just, like, a field. Okay, cool. All right, let's check this out. I haven't seen anything like this um, in game before. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, get the gun out. Looks like we're gonna need it. Where's the necromancer at? 47 away, yeah, I think I can hit that. I guess I just don't have a clear line of uh, sight on them. Yeah, these doofuses over here are running at us. I can take care of that pretty quick. I, mean, I don't know if I really even want to, though. I think that that is uh, some enemies that Harvey and I can kind of take out very easily. Yeah, we'll let these guys kind of get a little bit closer. That Kevlar Hulk is going to be... Probably our biggest issue in the Necromancer. 
So it kind of worked towards the Necromancer, I think. Um, I'm not even gonna, like, fight you. Harvey's got you. Okay, I think Harvey's got you right, yeah. Uh, get that repair nanobots going. Don't need that going. Sure, we get a little bit more power. We'll drop the backpack, and then let's see what have we got here. I can I can shoot the necromancer. Nice. Okay, let's do that. Let's take aim. There we go. I think I gotta shoot this guy. Because if I don't, he's gonna take me out. There we go. Nice done. Just kind of rotate around a little bit. That should prevent us having any issues with some. Yeah. And Harvey shouldn't get in between us, I don't think. There we go. Necromancer is down. Nice. Corrosive. That needs to go. Are you running away there, Harvey? What's, uh, what's the deal here? Got a couple of these guys out in the field. Yeah, the Kevlar one is the one I'm concerned about, honestly. And those blobs are also kind of annoying. Um, I think I'm just gonna just kind of weaken them a little bit and then maybe we'll conserve our ammo. Oh, what am I doing carrying that around? Um, yeah, we'll get our Jane out. Oh, hold on. So activate Jane. Yeah, I've put the gun down for now. It's fine. Oh no. What's, what's the deal? I'm disoriented. Stop. I'm running. Do not. Oh man. Okay. Uh, this is so annoying. I get disoriented like that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my gun out. Deal with that. We got a necromancer here as well. So I got get that necromancer. Where's the necromancer right now? Ah, uh, back there. Okay. Um, where's my gun? Okay, I think I'm gonna end this here and we'll, we'll finish this combat in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.